Hi, my name is Tyler Bragginson, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be taking a look at what's new for costing in SOLIDWORKS 2015. Many improvements were made to the costing tool in the newest release of SOLIDWORKS, so let's take a look at them. The first added feature for costing has to do with machined parts. In previous versions of SOLIDWORKS costing, we could only set the stock for machined parts as block, plate, or cylindrical bodies. In 2015, we can now define a custom sized stock using another part or a configuration for the stock. This allows us to either run costing on the stock first if machining is required, cost the stock based on volume, or apply a specific stock cost. SOLIDWORKS 2015 also introduces three new manufacturing methods to its costing lineup. Part costing can now be based on casting, plastic injection, and 3D printing methods. When using casting, SOLIDWORKS costing will analyze the material cost based on volume of the part and waste material. It'll help determine the time required to cycle, including heating, injecting, cooling, and ejecting the part. The user can also input the cost of the mold to more accurately determine part costs. Switching the manufacturing method to plastics, costing will now determine the cost of the part based on injection molding. Again, costing will determine material costs and cycle time based on the costing template. Here, the user can specify the runner system type as well as the mold cost. The addition of a 3D printing method for costing allows for automatic estimates for the cost based on build material, materials based on the volume, as well as infill. Costing will also calculate a build time to lay down the material based on the specified build orientation and allow for cooling between layers. The user can also input a cost for the support material required for the build. Another new tool for costing in 2015 is the ability to create sensors based on the cost of a part. If I wanted to 3D print my prototype, but ensure my changes don't drive the cost over $50, I can create a sensor with an alert based on my cost limit. Now if I make a change to my design, I will be notified real time if my changes impact the cost and push it over my cost limit. Another new manufacturing method in SOLIDWORKS 2015 is weldments. Costing will now provide cost estimates for structural members. In this multi-body frame, we can see that it is split into individual cut list items. Taking a closer look at one of the members, we can see that the stock is based on an extruded profiles and can be set based on the cost per cut length or the cost per standard stock size. The multi-body costing template also supports the cost of welds themselves. With all these new manufacturing methods, SOLIDWORKS addressed the need to establish some defaults to reduce setup time each time you want to cost a new part. So in addition to the costing settings we had in previous releases, in 2015, we can now specify the default options for each of the costing inputs, including a default template, default materials, stock type, as well as our desired quantities. Finally, for 2015, SOLIDWORKS made the template editor easier to use. All machines are now located on a single tab for all of our new manufacturing methods. Materials have been updated to include our new manufacturing methods and now allow for lists to be imported or exported directly from Excel, making it easier to modify them. For a full list of other costing template improvements, take a look at the What's New for 2015 PDF. In today's video, we took a quick look at what's new for costing in SOLIDWORKS 2015. Thanks for watching.